Hey everyone, it's Tony Abreu, and welcome back to my, or to episode two of my 365 day challenge. So yesterday, uh, I took a bold step, and I put out my first video. Uh, basically, basically declared that I am going to do 365 days of um, videos, uh, just on personal development and to basically document the journey uh, and to see what it's going to be like in a year from now. So uh, let me just start by saying that yesterday was full of challenges. Um, the video was only like five or six minutes long, but man, it took forever to upload. Uh, I had to upload it like four or five different times because it kept like messing up on me. And then uh, I finally got it out at like midnight. And today, like only a couple people watched it. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but expected because I had zero followers when I started. So in today's episode, I want to talk about noise. The noise that goes on in our head. So let me just tell you about the noise. If I listened to the noise in my head, I would have never even put out the video yesterday, much less I would have stopped today. Um, I wouldn't even have, I'd have just been, okay, forget it. Because when I woke up this morning, the noise was out of control. Now, let me uh, share a little bit about what I know about noise. So back in 2006, uh, I started learning about the noise and let me just give you an example real quick. Have you ever been talking to somebody, which this happens to me all the time, and you're talking to them and all of a sudden they go, wait, what? It's like they heard you say something, but they weren't really listening because they were checked out somewhere else. That's the noise. And so the noise is constantly going on in your head. It's that other person in your head or whatever you want to call them. Um, and in my opinion, if you can learn to shut that noise off, number one, you're going to go a lot further, but number two, you're going to be able to pay attention on a whole nother level. So let me share about my experience with that. So back in 06, 07, I became aware of the noise. Um, I remember distinctly uh, people talking to me and I would just be like, huh? And then I would like replay the message in my head because I was listening, but I wasn't really listening on the outer level. And then I would repeat it back to them. And I'm like, they're like, why did you just do that? I'm like, I don't know. But once I started realizing it and I started uh, learning about it, I figured out that I was in my head and I wasn't present. So being present is a huge, huge thing if you want to go to the next level or if you just want to improve your life. Um, there's a book, and I read this book. It's called The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle, and it explains all about being in the now and the benefits and the things that you can do to, to get there. So once I become aware of it, I remember working on it for like a solid week. I would be in the shower and just trying to get it to shut off, shut off, shut off. And it just never stops. It just never stops until you get control of it. So I remember being in the shower and just trying to focus on like the water hitting my body and breathing and noise. And I'm like, shut up, noise, shut up, noise shut up i just remember like not screaming out loud i mean that that's not what i did but in my head i was just like shut up and i would just be like stop and for like a solid week i had to do that but once i got control of it it was really cool because i started to like understand that there's so much more available to you from your senses if you just shut that off that thing right there going non-stop, it will, number one, it'll exhaust you because it's just constantly wearing you out. Physically, mentally, emotionally, it wears you out. Okay, so you stop the noise and then you're able to pay a lot more attention. You can actually sleep better if you stop all that noise. Um, 
one another program that I did was called the Silva method and it was about meditation and one of the best benefits of meditation is to quiet down your mind focus on your breathing and just be and there's actually medical benefits that come along with that when you start uh, focusing on your body and focusing on like different parts of your body and giving yourself attention through meditation and not noise so an example of that is I have generated myself or uh, brought myself to basically get like anywhere from four to six hours of sleep a night now if I go four hours and four hours and four hours and three nights in a row I'm exhausted and, and I'm not saying that I'm getting older now so it's not the same as it used to be but I do remember that four to six hours a night was plenty and all I would do is right before I went to sleep I would lay my head down I would close my eyes and I would count down three two one but I would go three 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 two 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 one 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 a little bit slower a lot more calmer but every time I would say the three I would picture a three in a vision and then a two and then a one and then from there I would start counting down from ten and take a deep breath and just go nine and just deep breath and just start slowing everything down just slow it down and it turns all the noise off and the first time I did it it was horrible just like this the first time I did it it was horrible but now I'm to the point to where I don't really care because I'm not listening to the noise anymore and so I did that every night for months and what it did for me was man you wake up and like in four hours you can get like such vibrant sleep like it actually being able to shut your mind down allows you to fall asleep at a deeper level and get into the best sleep which is called REM so <clears throat> not only does it have benefits in sleeping but we are way more intelligent than we give ourselves credit for as human beings and one of the things that I have been able to do after I shut the noise down and I, I still have problems with it you know here and there because you get in these little ruts and you get out of them and it just comes around or whatever but when you shut the noise down and you start focusing on all the things going on around you so not having the noise allows you to be able to put more focus on the rest of your senses like the feeling of your skin like the like all the things that you can see out of your eyes just because I'm looking at you doesn't mean I can't see like 180 degrees around me right now so <clears throat> Um, that's another thing hearing wow hearing so hearing is a huge thing I used to my ears used to ring like crazy because I shot so many guns when I was a kid just being out in the woods and playing and shooting skeet and whatever and my ears still ring a little bit now but I have the best hearing in the world and it's because I feel like I really focus because I don't have all the noise going on all the time now I do have noise this morning I had lots of noise about what this episode was going to be and i'm talking about the noise was out of control all day long but it's cool because at certain points i would just shut off and i would talk to my, the guy that works with me and i would just share these things and bring them out and like the noise would just shut off and it, i would be right back where i needed to be so what you want to do if you're going to do this if you're going to at least be aware of it number one but then number two try to shut it off and try to focus on higher levels so more examples of this um, when I'm driving down the road I back in the day I did this and I taught myself how to do this but I feel like when I'm driving down the road I'm always doing a lot in my vehicle but yet I'm always really aware of what's going on so one of the things that I used to do as an exercise was as I was coming up to uh, traffic that was stopped I would have my foot on the brake and I would be looking in the rearview mirror watching behind me as I came up on traffic but even though I was looking in the rearview mirror behind me I was still able to see through the rest of my vision 
in front of me and not hit traffic. So that was a small exercise I did. I'm sure there's so many more exercises you can do. Um, but these are just little things that I do. Like when I drive, okay, um, I, 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 I drive like a mile ahead of me. Like most people when they drive, they're like right here. But me, especially on the interstate, I drive a mile ahead of me. I'm always looking behind me. I've seen accidents happen completely through my rear view mirror as I'm driving forward. It was, it's the weirdest thing. Um, when I'm driving, I'm looking way off to the left. I'm looking way off to the right. I'm just aware of all this stuff. And in the process of that, like I see people driving by me in cars and I see, I, like, hey, there goes so-and-so. I'll be shopping with my wife and we'll be in a grocery store. I'll be like, oh, there's so-and-so. And she's like, huh? I'm like, yeah, I just, yeah. I see him driving down the road all the time. She's like, what are you talking about? I'm, it's the weirdest thing, but it's all about awareness. So the noise, let's talk about one more thing about the noise. The noise, if you can shut the noise off, you can open yourself up to so much more that's available to you, including, um, I'm going to say div divine intervention. So one of the things about me uh, whenever I go through issues in my life, like issues that I cannot solve by myself, um, what I'll do and what I've read is that you can put it out into the universe. You know, this is what I'll do. So let's say that I had an issue with something. I'm like, how, and I'm frustrated and I'm like, how can I solve this issue? I'll say it out loud and I'll say it out into the universe. Not like yelling or anything, but just like, how can I solve this issue? So I've done this many times and within days, the answer comes back to me. It'll come back to me in this, in a, like maybe on a, on a sign or a billboard. Um, it'll come back to me maybe just as something that just drops into my head. It may come back at me as a sentence that somebody says to me. But the thing that I'm trying to, like the main thing I'm trying to say here is that if you always have the noise going on in your head, 99% of the time, you're going to miss things that are meant for you to find. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, it's been able to get me a long way. And um, I think maybe something that you want to try. So that being said, um, episode two, um, I'm going to get this up. Um, I did learn a little bit about yesterday, you know, about getting that stuff up and then about posting it at midnight. I'm going to try to get this video and do a little bit different with it. I'm going to get it all ready to go. And then I'm going to try to drop it in the morning, maybe try to get some more eyes on it. Uh, I do want to grow this and, um, and document the journey and see where it takes me. So there's a lot of people making a lot of money on YouTube and that's cool. Um, I'm not really, it's not really about the money for me. I just know that I know a lot about personal development and I basically started a, uh, a thing in my phone where I have like different things that I'm going to talk about every day. Some will be longer than others. Some I have more experience than I have on others, but the main thing is just to, you know, start getting myself in the mode of explaining things and sharing stories about them and, you know, being relatable and getting out of my own way. Like, if you don't get out of your own way and let go and do something, you're never going to do it. Sometimes the details really don't matter. It's more about just letting go and going and figuring out, um, figuring out all the details as you go. And if you want to be more successful, that's a great thing to do. So with that being said, episode two, that's a wrap. Uh, I look forward to getting back with you tomorrow and um, have a good one. Thanks.